and hello again. I know it's been a long time since we've done the journey through the masses of the universe and today we're actually going to add three items. So let's oh see. My. Let's see what we're adding today. First, I'll go with uh, this. It's a frame tray puzzle. I actually have two here, but I'm going to hold them up one at a time so they don't fall out. But I found these at Value Village. It was in a bundle of uh, eight different frame trays, and they were only like three bucks. And they were for all, the whole bundle. all vintage. And it was, yeah. you know, but the other stuff, other genres like My Little Pony and Careful. Yeah, Careful, those will fall out. Yeah, there's a picture on the back of these, which the is cool. The picture on the back is really nice. Yeah. And I <laughs> bought some frame tray puzzles, Masters of the Universe, and a bunch of others. And we showed we showed them before, but um, the Masters of the Universe ones, um, I bought those on eBay. And they're still fairly cheap. I paid more for those because I bought them single yeah. um, than I did for this bundle right here. But they were still under $15. Yeah, it's so, a, it's an untapped market for those of you that are into masters and you know you feel tapped by the action figures because mm -hmm. of how expensive they are. They um, they're still relatively cheap. They're and, not, they haven't and, gotten bad yet. And this adds variety to your collection because I know a lot of people they want to collect. Um, some people are getting kind of burned out with the reissues and. Um, all of the different companies making all of the same things and this does add variety and again it is vintage so you get that you get variety and you get vintage together so um, you know just something else and often the uh, what I've noticed with frame tray puzzles is that the artwork is unique to yeah. to the puzzle mm -hmm. as they don't use it all over the place yeah so that was a good find. Again, we found that at Value Village. And um, I, I, I packed the rest of them up. I would show you all of the ones that I have, but I packed them up somewhere. So I don't even know where they are. And, and then... This is not from Value Village. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this. Okay, so we have this. The Dragon Walker. Which is bigger than I expected for some reason. Yeah. It has a hole in it. And that's okay. It's, yeah, it's still sealed. Yeah, it's sealed. Unplayed with condition. Uh, it has a hole in it, but that's okay. Um, I'm in possession. And that's <laughs> what's important. And it's just a nice addition to the collection. And as you can see here, I got a lot got of, a the bunch vehicles. of vehicles. Um, some animals here and behind me which you can't see because it's on the floor I have a couple of play sets so this fits in nicely I'm not worried about the box if a box comes up becomes available because sometimes people will just sell a box maybe I'll you know consider it but I'm not concerned um, I'm just happy to have it so. mm -hmm. and it's adding into my collection and it's gonna go down here on this bottom shelf somewhere, I'm going to have to work it in. Yeah, and I've noticed also that this is another area where prices haven't gone up that badly is with the vehicles, believe it or not. With yeah. the Masters of the Universe vehicles are still, by comparison to the action figures, I think fairly reasonable. As long as it's not like an action figure set like that... Uh, like that Panther and Skele Battle Armor Skeletor 2-pack is yeah. stupid expensive. Yeah. But the other ones, the Stridor and Screech and stuff like that aren't Those too bad. Those are really cheap. And I got the Screech <laughs> and the Zoar on bids. And somebody was sleeping on that because I got that. Like, I gave you the Screech. The Screech. I got the Zoar <laughs> on bids. And that was really cheap. So you can find it. You just got to look. 
hold out, make offers, you know, stuff like Unless that. Unless it's like uh, Battle Cat or Panthor. Yeah, and then, then it you're going to start... Yeah, people start getting weird with that kind of but stuff. But the the action figures just keep going up, but the vehicles, I've noticed, haven't gotten too bad. Yeah, and it kind of makes you want to give up a little bit because you're like, <laughs> oh, man. With the action figures, because they are so much. And, um, you know, but hey, maybe if you keep looking again, sometimes you'll find them cheap. Somebody will be sleeping on it or something, or sometimes you go to a show and you might find one. So that's what I hold out for. Yeah, and you've had some good luck. I have. I've you had, had some a good lot luck of good with, luck. You had some good luck with that He-Man up in the corner there. Oh, God, I think I told a story about that. I found that on right Craigslist. There. You mean the yeah. one we yeah. got there? Yeah, the, I found that the, on... The first version He-Man. I found that on Craigslist. Somebody was selling it for $75. <laughs> and I It's mint on the card. Yeah, and I was like, what? That can't be right. And I drove for a minute to get it. <laughs> and then after I got there and actually got it, I thought about it. I was like, man, I wonder if they have any more. But you were already gone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just cruising through Craigslist one day and somebody had it advertised for $75. So I called and they were like, yeah, we got it. And we met and... And that's how I got that one. But sometimes you lock up, you know. So you just got to keep looking, hold out, you know, and take your time. Sometimes I uh, binge. Well, not binge. What you do? Uh, what you call it? Impulse buy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've got burned with that a couple of times. True. But, yeah. Um, you got to be careful. Yeah, you do have to be careful. And always ask somebody um, else who's not too involved to look at it for you. And then maybe they'll see something that you didn't see and it'll help bring you down to earth. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm adding to my collection. I got three pieces I'm adding to my collection. So, again, as always, thank you for um, joining me in the journey of filling out my Masters of the Universe collection. And until next time, we'll see ya. We are the masters of the universe.